I read this quote that said, expecting things to change without putting in an, any effort is like waiting for a ship at the airport. If you want your life to change, you have to put in the work. Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. James 2 verse 26 says, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Faith without works is a dead faith because the lack of works reveals an unchanged life or a spiritually dead heart. How we live shows that what we believe and whether the faith we profess to have is a living faith. So we cannot claim to believe or have faith in God, yet our lives do not reflect who he is. Some of us are unhappy with our jobs, in our marriages or relationships, with our current lifestyle, even in our own bodies. We've all been there or will be there at some point. Feeling like you don't know who you are or where you belong, feeling lost or frustrated or even stuck. I wanna look good, feel good about myself, just to be healthy. But wanting it is not enough. If I don't get up, exercise or eat healthy, if I don't do the work, then what I desire will never come to fruition. It will always be just a desire. We complain about our lives, well, I do. How horrible and unfulfilling it is, how difficult it is. Sometimes these complaints are justified. Perhaps we've gone through or are going through a rough time and are struggling in our lives. And that should not be discredited. But this is your life. You're in control. You're in the driver's seat. You're the one, the only one that can make a shift or change or mend or rebuild it however you deem necessary. So if you're not happy, do something about it. But you have to put the work in. James was a wise guy. In verse 17, he said this, Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. So wanting, hoping, dreaming, or desiring, it's not enough. We need to start doing. If you're tired of the same routine, shake it up, but you have to put the work in. If you hate your job, pursue other options, but you have to put in the work. If your relationship has lost its spark, see what you can do to change it. Get help, but you have to put in the work. Just believing that things will work out or change, it's not enough. If you fall, get back up and try again, but getting up requires you putting in the work. If you fail, don't give up. Start again and remember, it's not how many times you fail, but it's what you've learned from failing that defines who you are. But if you, but you have to put in the work. Your actions and your belief system, they have to agree. The truth is, if you want something bad enough, you'll pursue it, whether a dream, a goal, idea, or state of being. So don't hold yourself back anymore. Your best life is, always has been, and always will be within reach. But you have to put in the work. Why? Because faith without works is dead. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thoughts.